We live in a world of immense violence and kind of like unbridled materialism slash capitalism. And we have, we have kind of global issues like nuclear proliferation. We have to restructure an education system which is defunct. Uh, we have environmental degradation, the huge gap between rich and poor. And I'm just wondering, how do we approach these issues on a global level? You know, it's not just like it's affecting here. It's not just affecting South Korea. It's not just affecting India. It's, I, I wonder how, is anarcho-syndicalism, is that, is, that, is that viable somehow? Or how, how, how do you approach the world? I think the basic thrust of anarcho-syndicalism, <clears throat> anarchism generally applies everywhere. Wherever there are structures of domination and control, uh, hierarchy and oppression, uh, they are not self-justifying, should be challenged, and if uh, they can't demonstrate the legitimacy, overthrown. I think that applies to every case you've mentioned. Uh, it's, uh, it has, it's not a formula as to how to deal with, say, uh, environmental destruction, but it lies in the background. Each of the cases you mentioned requires its own type of action. With regard to nuclear proliferation, actually we have an answer. Uh, the problem is to implement it. Uh, the uh, the non-proliferation treaty uh, obligates the nuclear powers to uh, carry out good faith measures to eliminate nuclear weapons. That's actually a legal obligation as was determined by the International Court of Justice back in the mid-90s. And it also requires other uh, nation, uh, countries not to develop nuclear weapons. There are, at the moment, several that have outside the NPT, uh, Israel, um, India, Pakistan, and now North Korea. Uh, but uh, there are ways to uh, uh, overcome this. For example, in the case of the Middle East, uh, one way to, a serious way to approach it would be to try to establish a nuclear weapons free zone in the Middle East. Uh, it's been formally accepted by the West, but only formally. Uh, 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 just last December, there was to be a conference in Helsinki to move forward on this proposal. Uh, Israel announced they wouldn't attend. Uh, Iran announced that they would attend with no preconditions, and a couple of days later, uh, uh, President Obama canceled the conference, uh, so it didn't take place. There's pressure to renew it from the European Union, from Russia, mainly the Arab states, but unless the United States is willing to significantly participate, it's not going, going to go anywhere. But there are mechanisms. We can think of ways of overcoming this problem. When you turn to environmental degradation, it's a little bit different. There, I mean, it's a horrible problem. We're moving towards a precipice which uh, um, is of extreme danger, racing towards it. And uh, the longer uh, we wait to uh, uh, eliminate uh, reliance on fossil fuels, the worse it's going to be. But it's not so clear how to do that. It's different from the nuclear threat, which in fact, at least in principle, we know how to get rid of. Dr. Noam Chomsky, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks.